The number one question I get asked every day is, Brandon, are you wearing makeup? Even though the number one question should be, how far back does your forehead go? Back to the future. Eventually, it's gonna connect. Are y'all racing to get back here? Calm down. I can't take it no more. Neither can you. You're dying to know and I'm dying to tell. Yeah, I wear makeup. There it is. Goodbye. So instead of trying to hide the fact that I wear makeup, I'm gonna show you my daily routine. You don't get a fortune telling forehead like this by just waking up like this, okay? No, it takes work. The first thing I do every morning, wash my face. I only use bottled water. Okay. And then I bend down to pick up my supplies. I don't bend my knees. That's a structural choice. Okay. I'm just posing for a thumbnail right now. And then I just gently put down my tackle box full of face tools. I always go in with my 24 hour fresh wear foundation and we are gonna in fact wear it for 24 hours. Just squirt an amount of that on the egg like that and then you're just gonna drag that all over your face. And I like to use a shade that's six shades darker and or one ethnicity difference. If after I'm done putting on my makeup and I can't pass as my girlfriend's distant cousin, then I've done too little and I need to continue going. Perseverance is key. Next, I, I go in with my A7X brush Rock on. And then just do straight lines down. If you don't have people asking you why the long face, then you've done this part wrong and you're gonna wanna come back, maybe go into the Target toilet and fix it. This always gives me the illusion of I just woke up from a nap, which most of the time I do. I've never not woken up from a nap that I know of. Then um, I go in with this primer. Just like when you're painting a house, you put the first coat of paint on and then you then you remember the primer. Okay, you're just gonna squeak, squeak, squeak. Sound effect that on there. And then just liberally put that all over your face. Doesn't matter who you support. This may look like it's taken off the first step of makeup, but that is exactly what it's gonna do. Just drag and drop. Your eyebrows at this point will have almost nearly disappeared. Most people at this point will go for a shower. I go for Puss Pout, you heard me, which is indeed the lipstick shade I was looking for. Pout colored. Thank God. And then you just pucker as if you found someone who's willing to let you do that with them. You don't go for accuracy, you go for speed. And then you're just gonna tuck that little puss pout back in its pouch. And then, chapstick. I know what you're thinking, we just put on lipstick. <laughs> it's not for your lips. This is for those bags under your eyes. You're allowed one carry-on and one check-in item. You can't keep both of these unless you pay extra. What I'm doing here is just making little triangles because if one day I become super popular, someone's gonna mistake this as me saying I'm part of the Illuminati. I always go in with the Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins Duo, which is pretty sticky. But what you're gonna do is just put that on your eye, not in it. And just one eye is fine. It burns enough for the both. <laughs> okay. I have my trusty Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. I put the lip scrub on my eyelids. It makes your eyes appear bigger because you can't blink. It hurts too much. It's like sand in your creases. And open. Oh no. So the glue's working. Perfect. Next, I go in with my blush and I make sure to break it up a bit. You don't want a solid blush. You want it to look like you're rummaging for fossils. And you're gonna take that blush you're gonna cover this eye. You ain't gonna be seeing out of it, not today. You wanna make your Robert De Niro face when you do it too. Okay, meet the Fockers, whichever movie you watch. And then you're gonna put it on your Jesus cross right here, okay? And the reason you're only going on this eye is because you're using the brush to try to get all the glue out. Next, I put on eyelashes. You already got the glue. It's gonna be pretty easy to put on this eye because the glue's already there. And if it's not working, you can add more adhesive, okay? Oops, and with this putty primer, put it where you think that goes. Okay, this is gonna give you the illusion of putty on your face. And then I take my Mr. Worldwide and you're gonna gloss your brows cause we're gonna go in and we're gonna fix those babies. Eyeliner, eyeliner makes the man is what I say. Staring straight back at me. When will my... And then I go in with this KKW, which is one K off from being super offensive. You wanna dab your brush in this nearly offensive powder, tap off the excess, and then just put that on the cheekbones of your weak eye, okay? This is a contour stick. We're just gonna fill in those brows. You want them to look like sisters, not twins, okay? That's the key to making them look natural. And then I go in with concealer. Just make zebra stripes. Concealer is just gonna cover literally everything you've just did. It's gonna make everything okay again. And I always make my face a darker shade than my neck, okay? I need to give my neck something to strive for. Then you just take a shaping stick and then you accentuate your, your best features, which mine just so happen to be the majority of my face. And that's all it is. Now I can just sit around and Carol Baskin my good looks. 